Hello, I'm Senator Kay Bailey Hutchison from Texas. As spring approaches, the Super Bowl is history, basketball is in high gear, and Major League Baseball spring training camps begin to open. But there are 13 million Americans who won't be talking sports at work. They are the unemployed workers who haven't been able to get to first base. Earlier this week, at an event to highlight the payroll tax cut extension bill passed by Congress, President Obama was quoted as saying, my message to Congress is, don't stop here, keep going. Well, Republicans in Congress do want to keep going. We have six months before the elections, and there is much we could accomplish, much on which we can agree the president should send his message to the Senate Democrat leadership. For example, three of my Senate colleagues and I last week reiterated our call to have the Senate consider four bills that would make it easier for smaller companies to expand and hire. The key to moving from a monthly trickle of jobs to a tidal wave of growth is getting obstacles out of the way of our small businesses. They are our job creators. The four measures that we have brought forward would remove outdated barriers to raising private funds for expansion and new hiring. Each of these bills has already passed the House with more than 400 votes, large majorities of both Republicans and Democrats. Each bill has also been endorsed in concept by the President. And yet, these bills have been bottled up for months in the Democrat-controlled Senate. President Obama also noted this week that Americans are concerned by the rising cost of gasoline. Well, they certainly are. Gasoline prices have almost doubled in just three years, and it's getting worse. Last February, the average cost of a gallon of unleaded was $3.17 per gallon, the highest February price ever. But this February's average is $3.57 per gallon, and all forecasts are for prices to rocket above $4 per gallon during the summer driving season. Families and businesses will be devastated. President Obama's own energy secretary, Stephen Chu, has said, and I quote, somehow we have to figure out how to boost the price of gasoline to the levels in Europe. Well, this administration is certainly trying their best to do just that. We can't slow down global demand for oil and gas, but we can do a lot more here at home to assure that we have the energy we need and to halt skyrocketing costs. But President Obama's policy has resulted in an unprecedented slowdown in new exploration and production of oil and gas. Offshore drilling permits are being issued at less than half the rate of the previous administration. The average number of leases issued on public lands is less than half that during President Clinton's term. Not only will the slowdown in domestic production drive up fuel prices, it also takes away jobs from tens of thousands of oil industry workers. The same is true for the Keystone Pipeline. It would produce thousands of good-paying construction jobs and tens of thousands more at U.S. refineries and suppliers. That pipeline would assure the United States of 830,000 barrels of oil daily, not from halfway around the world, but from our friend to the north, Canada. After four years of environmental reviews and regulatory approvals, the Obama administration is still stalling. If we wait, the Canadians have indicated they can ship their oil to China, and a huge opportunity will have been lost. Our message to the President is, we can keep going. 13 million unemployed Americans can't wait until after this year's election or next year's baseball season. We ask the President 
to help get a bipartisan jobs bill through the Democrat-controlled Senate and for an energy policy that puts American workers and families first.